Hey guys, what's up? This is MacOSX Tutorials123 here, and today I'm bringing something to you that you might not expect to see on this channel. Um, this actually is the new Samsung Galaxy Note. Let's see if I can get that to focus there. Um, but anyway, alright, no focusing, that's cool. But <laughs> this is the white version from AT&T 4G LTE, um, not the international version. It doesn't have that uh, center home button that is physical, tactile, but it does have the four, uh, <laughs> I can't actually remember what they're called, but it has the four touch buttons in the center. So, let's get started. So here you have the box. Alright, let's open it up. Now, I have not opened this before, so we'll see what's in here. Right here I have the quick start guide, if you can see that. Um, guessing it's going to contain some basic stuff in there, like simple stuff, like getting to know it, what each thing is, what that uh, what that screen does, <laughs> might display what's on your phone. Um, yeah, simple stuff. You know, if you're watching a video like this, you probably understand it. But if you don't, go ahead and read it uh, when you buy one, because I'm not going to read it to you. But uh, wow, here's what everyone's here for. The massive, very massive, Samsung Galaxy Note. As you can see, they have their uh, infamous, I call it infamous, it might be famous, not infamous. Um, texting and driving can wait, good for Samsung, trying to keep more people alive. Um, let's, deep for, let's dig further into here. Uh, we're going to come back to the phone in a little bit after I show you what else is in the box. This is your warranty and health and safety guide. I have a class called health and safety. I wonder if they teach this kind of stuff in health and safety. Um, here we have the battery. I guess for some reason I was expecting it to come inside the phone, but that doesn't make any sense. So here it is. Uh, 2500 milliamps per hour battery. That's actually really ginormous. Especially compared to phones like the iPhone or the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, here is a connecting cable for connecting and for charging. Um, and I'm guessing, here we go, is the USB adapter for the wall. And if you don't know what this is for, then get off my channel. But anyway, so let's shove all this aside over here. And here we have the phone itself. So... Let's zoom in on this a little bit. You can see that it is white, as I described earlier. And it has that plastic on the back. Tells you how to take off the cover and insert the battery. So let's do that right now. I'm going to take this off. Wow. That looks very nice. I was having some having some internal conflict buying the white one because all I've ever owned is a white phone or a black phone. So I am officially not racist towards phone anymore. But I have to say that any conflict or worry that I had about a white phone after seeing this is officially gone. So let's just peel off this battery here. See if I can not exactly I think you have to take this out. These are Samsung makes some pretty difficult. Here we go. So as you can see, you just pry it off. As I was saying, Samsung makes some pretty difficult battery cases to get off, uh, which is good because that means if it falls, the battery is less likely to fall out. But uh, it's also bad because it embarrasses me over the internet. But So if I put that in there, actually, you know what? Let's put in a SIM card. Let's take that out. We have to actually let this phone talk to AT&T servers for it to do probably half of what it needs to do. So let me just break out this new SIM card that AT&T gave me. Um, Alright, here we go. Looks like it fits in just like that. And there we go. Just nice and simple. Slide the battery in. Oh my gosh, I must be mentally retarded. Okay, slide the battery in. <laughs> now, put the case back on. 
or the back back on to be precise. Snap it all together like Oh my gosh. All right. Um warning for you guys. Don't try and put the case on with the plastic on the side still on because it will get in the way. There we go. All right. Here. So this is the first Android I have ever owned. So I am very excited to uh, figure out what it's all about, what people like about the Android, what people don't like, what I like and don't like, more importantly, and just exactly how well I'm able to transition from an iPhone to an Android. So, obviously, I'll be keeping you guys posted on this as I go. So let's snap this all together. It's actually pretty difficult to snap together. Um, from Inside the store is actually really easy, but that's because people have probably been messing with it a lot. And plus, they have those damn security things just on there all day, every day, and probably pulling on it, making it a lot weaker. So there we go. Everything snapped in together. Almost everything. And when I snap that in... Wow. Jesus. Okay. Finally. <laughs> Let's take this off. Beautiful screen. Let's start it up. See what you guys think. All right. Showed a Samsung logo there for a second. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. See if I can get this focused. As you can see, AT&T's general rethink possible logo. So. There we go. Alright, there. this is the first... Alright, AT&T is ready to go. So, fast and easy phone setup. So, let's see. Make sure it's in English. Don't see any reason why it wouldn't be. Alright, get started. Is that button right there? Get started on your computer. Go to the following link on your computer. No, I don't want to. Alright, so I'm just going to press cancel because I'm not going to set this up with my computer. I'll... D no. Good lord. Alright, Google's location. Yep. So, all it had me do there was basically just <laughs> tell it not to set it up because I don't want to use my computer to set up. But, if you were to use your computer to set it up, I imagine that it would help you just transfer your contacts and whatever else you had in there. So this here is a page uh, informing you about how to capture the screen with the pen. And I'm assuming that these are going to pop out throughout the usage of this phone. Probably going to inform me about, uh, you know, possible ways I could use the phone and hints and tips and kind of stuff I give you. So, let's see what happens if I press OK. You got anything else for me? Nope. All right. Here is the home screen. So, as you can see, it's big and bright and beautiful and really... Uh, this isn't very special. It's amazing, except this is the normal TouchWiz home screen, so... Uh, once I set it up and once I've used this phone for a couple days, I'm probably going to do a review on it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, you'll be seeing much more of this phone to come. And definitely would recommend it so far. I haven't done much with it. This is obviously just kind of a first look thing going on. But so far, I would sincerely recommend it to anyone who is... Uh, wanting to buy it. Um, one more thing, actually, this is one of eight or Samsung's selling points about the phone. Is this right here? It's called the S Pen. It is a stylus. Samsung's bringing it back, but it's more of a complex stylus because it has this single button right there that you can kind of see, and it allows you to kind of modify what's going on. So as you can see, just using it to flick back and forth. See that? can take a screenshot with it if I want to top and hold and not drag I'm so bad at this yeah I'm officially terrible at this but anyway it should capture the screen there we go and now it's gonna let me go over here to edit it you know good stuff make it red 
scribble all over the home screen. Good stuff. It's pressure sensitive. It has 256 points of sensitivity. Um, so it's going to allow you to obviously make it bigger or smaller depending on how hard you're pressing. So if I'm kind of pressing lightly or if I'm pressing really hard, it's going to it's going to change how thick it is. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll put a notification in there on YouTube, an annotation on YouTube, to make sure that you guys don't sign off uh, when I first said this. So, more of this phone to come. Reviews, probably going to be an accident with it. You know me. Actually, you don't know me. You want to see my iPhone? This is what happened to my iPhone. See that? That is something. I don't know what that is at the top, but it's broken and it's showing. Bad stuff. All right. I'll see you in the next video.